Now it's time to put some enemies into this game. And what I'd like to start off with is making like some little bombs. So using the selection tool, I'm going to double click on levels, go inside here. Let's see, here's the walls. Uh, I think I'm going to try actually putting the, um, the bombs inside the walls. And you know that you can't walk through the walls, so what's going to happen is, um, and I tried this out just a minute ago, the concussion of the bomb will make you uh, lose the ability to move for a moment. So I kind of like that. So we're going to build, um, in fact, let's call this walls layer, because that's the actual walls. And we'll put bombs right here. And so on this layer, let's draw a little tiny round thing. And we can even click this and make it look kind of metallic. And let's see, we can get rid of or maybe make it transparent, 50% transparent. And we can use this tool to move the shiny spot up there and even make it a little bigger so it's not quite so pronounced and that'll be our little bomb kind of like the look of that so that's just drawing the bomb now we need to select it and convert it to a symbol bomb and then we'll go inside here and what is that funny some kind of a funny um, mark on there just digitally displaying wrong or something but anyways uh, this is the bomb drawing of the bomb and on this layer we're gonna make a code layer let's lock it and then hit F6 twice and go it go to and play two and then in the first frame we actually want to declare that the timer is 100 and then I'm gonna copy that line because it's gonna be very similar to this right here we want to say minus equals not a hundred but one so it's gonna start out timer is gonna be equal to a hundred and then it's going to subtract one from it every time it reads this line. And we'll say if timer is ever less than or equal to zero, uh, for now we'll just say trace boom. So let's just see if that works. All of a sudden, boom, I got the message, a text message, boom. Instead of boom, though, we actually want it to do something else. We want to go to and play four. So we can create a fourth frame by hitting F6. And while that frame is selected, we go shape tween. And let's go out to about the 30th frame and hit F6 again. And now we'll select the whole thing and hit Control-Alt-S 500 times bigger. Uh, maybe even more than that. I just hit undo in case you didn't catch that. I hit Control-Z. Now I'm going to make it 700 times bigger. Yeah, that's pretty good. And so it's going to basically go like this. And I think it'll look nice if we turn this black and transparent. So it'll be like that. And this, maybe this should be not transparent. Maybe we should go completely like that. Okay, that's kind of slow. I'm going to take out this. I'm going to select some of this, remove it. Boom. That's not really that big. So I'm going to go twice as big, I think. Let's see what that looks like. Boom. That's better. Now you've actually got... Um, okay, let's see if, if your arrow keys get sort of stunned. Yeah, it looks like the arrow keys did get stunned. I'm going to bring back some of the slowness by hitting F5. I just selected uh, that and hit F5. That way that way you kind of get stuck. Your arrow keys stop working. I kind of like that better. Alright. So that happens. And now now that that's set up we need to go inside player 1 and we need to write some code that says um, it's very similar to this so I'm gonna grab this whole chunk 
and go down here. I'm going to put some slashes to separate the code, the blocks of code. I'm going to paste that. I don't want it to affect uh, that. That's not the result that I want. I want if I took out that um, exclamation because that meant not. So it's basically saying if you hit the walls, then underscore, we want to basically, if you hit the walls, we want to take away some of your health. So we say underscore parent dot, that means look out in scene one, because parent means go out. Look for something called health bar and health meter. Inside the health bar, there's something called health meter. And what about it? The width minus equals one. So let's see if that does it. Ah, that's kind of a lot though. You would die very fast. Let me see. Yeah, we need to take less away. Point 0.1. See how much that does. It's probably better. I think that's probably good for now anyways just a little injury or you could do 0.5 yeah that's probably better so now we can collect coins and we can get injured by the bomb and I really like the way the bomb makes you for a moment not be able to move all right, so now the next thing that needs to happen, um, we'll get into the next video, is uh, the player needs to die once the health bar reaches zero. We'll get to that in the next video.